All right, 608 now, Faven, you had the great privilege of attending a big chamber meeting yesterday. The two big topics were F1 and the A's moving to Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, we, the media, got scolded for not being big enough cheerleaders for their projects, which is adorable because that is not our jobs. Yeah, we state facts. We're not paid fans. But I want to start by saying thank you, thank you, thank you to the Las Vegas Chamber of Commerce for inviting us. It was their 2024 preview of Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. We have some great things in store, obviously kicking off with Super Bowl in just a few short weeks. And you know what? This was my opportunity, Davey, to turn you into an A's fan. Kevin oh. Bollinger sent me with a bunch of questions for the owner, John mm -hmm. Fisher. He was there. Sure. We were supposed yeah. to learn more about the relocation, maybe see those ballpark renderings. Mm -hmm. They even gave us a hat, a hat that I got just for you. Oh. But after uh, it was all said and done, I realized that you are not going to want this hat any more than you did before that <laughs> event. <laughs> yeah, you can keep the hat. Uh, well, speaking of, uh, John Fisher had a little chat at the event. Uh, we were hoping to learn some stuff, but really not much. Still no renderings of the stadium. That rendering there is not accurate. That is nothing like what the stadium uh, would potentially look like. He also uh, didn't really specify if it was going to be one of those uh, retractable roof stadiums, which let's be honest, it's going to have to be here in Vegas when construction might start. He did answer, though, a question about funding. Uh, as we know, Nevada politicians gave the team $370 million in public funding, but the team do does need to front about a billion dollars to unlock that public financing. The stadium will cost, you know, perhaps close to $1.5 billion. Um, that will be funded mostly with equity from uh, my family. Um, we'd actually like to, you know, consider raising capital, especially from local investors, because we think that that creates um, a, a connection to the community that has, you know, we've seen that with a lot of other teams, been a really successful thing, um, and, um, and with a little bit of debt. Hey, I got that Coles cash. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Another question that came up is the A's payroll, which was the lowest in Major League Baseball. They had the worst team in Major League Baseball yes, last year. Fisher says his team is in a rebuilding period, and he hopes that the move to Vegas will help hold on to their best players going forward. Look, as we know here in Las Vegas, if you're not a winner, you're not going to get supported. So, you know, they got, what, four years to figure things out. Yeah. Oh, you got the hat on. I, I, told, I got it for you. Um, I was, you know, ready to come back with this amazing report, you know, turn your mind around, you know, change your mind about the A's a little bit. You know, I yeah. am. I was I grew up in Oakland. So, hey, I don't hate them. This hat is them. nice. I'm just yeah. going to hold on to it for you. Hopefully we'll learn more yeah. about the A's and their relocation in the coming months. The team did say that they are committed to growing Little League here in Nevada. They want to work with every Little League okay. baseball good. team in the state. And I must say, this hat looks really good on me, so I'll just keep it on.